for his message for retouching action. I'm so excited about this. And the reason why I'm really excited about this is that, according to Prince Mason, you don't need micro dodge or or progress separation anymore to retouch your image. When using this pro action, all you have to do is pick your normal brush tool and just paint over your image and it's going to retouch your image. It's going to do focus separation and do the micro dodge or for you automatically. I'm really excited about this and I want to try it out right now. I'm going to be testing this action on this image right here for the headshot. And I'm going to use this one right here as a full body shot to test this action. And I'm going to use this image right here to test it out for the portrait. And to be honest with you guys, I've never really used this action before since I got it. I just want to use it right now and give you guys my honest review and let you know how it works. This is my first time using this action. So we're going to start with this headshot right here. I've already removed the blemishes for this image. So this is the before and this is the after. Now, once you buy this action from Prismacy store, I'll be leaving the link where you can get this action below. Just come to your actions right here. After you install it, you are going to see the action right here. And this action, it has the beauty retouch prismacing. It has the portrait retouch and it has the full body retouch. And it also has the dodge and bone. And also has the liquefy right here. It's really amazing. Since we are retouching headshot for this image, I'm going to click on this beauty retouch right here. And just click on it and allow it to load. The After loading the action, you can see inside this group right here, we have a couple of layers right here. And you can see this layer right here is said paint here and this other right here is said extra smoothing so these two black layer right here are where you're going to be painting on but you first of all paint on this paint here option right here according to the text right here it said paint here so this is where you're going to be brushing on so just pick your normal brush tool and make sure you're using a soft round brush and make sure your flow is set between 20 to 30 percent according to placement it's going to give you the best result make sure you're using the flow of 20 to 30 percent so i'm going to use 25 for this and click on ok and just pick my normal brush to make sure my foreground color is set to white and my paint layer is selected and i'm also going to paint on this image right now and the good thing about this is that i don't need to be uh, specific like painting the shadow separately or painting the highlight separately all i have to do is just paint on the image like this as you can see i'm just brushing the image um you have to be careful not to paint this to the eyes but you don't really have to be careful when doing this like you are doing focus separation just make sure you are painting on only the skin of the image like that so let me just quickly paint this part right here and let's see the before and after and looking at this image i'm still going to remove the blemishes for this image i feel the blemishes are not well removed i'm going to work on the blemishes again but i just want to just run this action and just see how it works so you can see right now it feels as if i'm not really doing anything but i'm seeing the difference i'm going to show you the before and after in a little bit so i'll come back to the body i'm going to paint on the body as well and after i retouch this image i'm going to share it with you guys on facebook so you can see the um final result is using this method to retouch your image if it's something you want to go for you can get these actions i'm just going to paint here like this all right now i'll show you the before and after what we just did so you can see the before and after this is the before and this is the after the before and after you can see how amazing this image is right now it's looking smooth i want that i observe is that i feel it's brushing you no know, of um how i put it it's making the highlights look a little bit dark so if you see this highlight right here on the cheek it's making it look a little bit dark than the one there before it did be after i think it's adding a little bit of darkness to the highlights on the image so maybe next time i'm going to use a brush flow of 20 percent uh, maybe it's going to work better like that maybe it's just like 25 percent so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to come to this extra smooth right here i'm going to click on it and i'm still going to paint on this image this time i'm going to reduce my flow to 20 percent and just come to this extra smooth layer and just brush on it again just to make the image look extra smooth according to the name I think this action is really amazing it's fast and simple and it saves a lot of time all right now let's see the before and after this is the before and this is the after the before and the after so i'm going to take my time to remove so this image and if you want to remove the blemishes with this prince Messi action just come to this or high texture right here and just zoom in pick your close turn tool and make sure your are there just sample from it close by area but let me just show you the before and after so this is the before and the after I feel it's looking good, but if you feel it's too much, you can just come back to this paint layer and just reduce the opacity. But I'm going to leave mine in 100 or come to this exercise mountain and just reduce it. But I'm going to leave mine in 100 
And what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to write this auto dodge abon action for this image so that I can automatically do my dodge abon for me. Let's see how it works. So I'm going to click on this auto dodge abon. I'm just going to create this dodge abon layer for me. And all I have to do is just paint inside this place right here, this black layer mask with a white brush. And I'm going to put my flow to 100%. And the reason why I brought it back to 100% is so that I can reduce the opacity later. So I'm not going to paint this auto dodge abon on the overall image. I'm just going to do the auto micro dodge abon for me. You can see how it's working. It's working really, really good. And I'm just going to reduce the opacity later if I feel it's too much. So that's why I brought the flow to 100% at the beginning. And if you notice, it has automatically added those parts that I was complaining about at the very beginning when I was using that paint brush that I said it was adding um, shadows to the highlight area. This auto micro dodge and bone just fill those areas. So right now, I'm just going to reduce the opacity. Let's see. Okay. Let's see the before and the after. I think I'm just going to use 40 for this particular image right here. 40 works for me. The before and the after. I think it's looking really good right now. Now, let's go back to this full body shot right here. I'm going to use the same thing for this full body shot. So, for let me use this soft boss right here. I feel it's distracting. So, I'm picking the patch tool. Just going to sample any uh, soft boss. Just bring it down like this to move it. Okay. So, I'm going to use the same action. And right now, I'm going to use this full body retouching by Prince Messi right here. You can see we have group right here. The same group we have before. You can see the pen, the extra smooth right here. So, I'm going to click on pencil layer. Pick my normal brush too. This time I'm going to use a flow of 20 instead of 25. I'm just going to paint on the image with my white brush selected. I'm just going to keep painting on the image like that. And right now it feels as if we are not doing anything. But if I shoot before and after, you're going to see the massive difference on this image. So I'm going to keep painting on this image right now. And as you are doing that, if this video has been helpful to you so far, Make sure to give this video a like so that more people can see this video and also learn from this video as well. Thank you. So let's see the before and after. This is before, this is the after. So I'm just going to click on my auto dodge and burn right now. So I'm still having the same issues for this image. So if, I just, if you just see the before and after, you can see it's painting the shadows into the highlights, the before. And the after uh, it just removed the back on the image i think that's one issue i'm having i don't know if i'm the only one having it but it's what i'm seeing right now this is my first time seeing it and it's what i'm really seeing right now so i'm going to paint my auto dodge and burn to see if i can bring back those highlights right there i'm going to take my flow to 100 percent before after now i think this first one right here is looking much more better than this one right here I don't know, maybe it's the skin of the mode there. I don't really know, but you can see it's that skin texture of the skin is too much. And it requires me to use the native focus equation or normal dodge and burn to actually retouch this particular image right here. So for this image right here, I'm not going to be using this prismatic action to retouch this particular image right here. But I might go for it for this headshot. But this image, I think is not looking good at all. So let's see the before. And after i think maybe it's this particular image or maybe the way i take the image but i really like it on this headshot right here maybe it's because this image was well taken i don't know but this one right here i really don't like the way it's looking for this particular image right here so i'm going to come back to this one right here so i'm going to do the same thing so i'll click on this trait right here all right so i'm going to open this group again paint here pick my brush tool and uh, maybe I should use 15 for this. I don't know. I'm going to use what well, position is said 20 to 30. So let me just use 20. I'm going to experiment with this later and I'm going to do a follow up video actually. What's my first review of it? So I'm going to paint with 20 and see how it goes. I think this one is looking good. I think this one is looking good already. This is looking good. This is looking good. Okay. This is looking good. Really, really good. You can just see the before and the after. You can see how smooth it's looking. Let me zoom in so you can see. So this is the before and this is the after. You can see how smooth it is and it's looking really, really good. I like it for this portrait. So I'm just going to end on this side as well. Okay. Now let's see the before and after. This is the before. 
and this is the after the before after, i like it for this image it's really really worked well for this portrait image now what i'm going to do i can choose to add extra smooth if i'm, I'm not going to add extra smooth into this image i like the way it is already so i can choose to remove the blemishes with this high texture i'm going to do that soon okay now i'm just going to run the auto dodge and burn click on the auto dodge and burn and i'm just going to paint bring my flow to 100 percent and just paint on the image like this and i'm going to reduce the opacity later now i feel it's too much so i'm going to come to my opacity and just take my opacity down to let's uh, say 40 37 37 works for this image so this is the before and this is the after the before and the after so honest with you i feel this portrait retouching for this post pro action works works really good not so sure about for the body maybe it's quite this image i'm going to experiment with that image and i'm going to do a video like i said earlier it works well for this i really was not feeling this and also take this one was really really amazing so this is the before and after it's really really amazing and that is not everything we have inside this prince message action there's this liquify right here so instead of creating a stamp visible layer and going to liquify once you just click on this liquify right here it's just going to take you straight to the liquify so let's say i want to just change the face i'm just going to uh, come to this face right here you can choose to change the face if you want. i'm going to leave this image like this the way it was originally and just click on cancel i just want you to know that you can actually use this post message liquify right here to do your liquify so that's my honest review for this post message action i think Prince Messi is a genius for him to think about this like retouching your image without focus separation or the jam bond it's really really amazing that has not even crossed my mind i don't know how i did it but it's really really amazing and if you want to get this prince message action they'll go to prince message store i believe the link in the description below or send me a dm on instagram i'm going to send the link to you where you can download this action and not just that if you want to learn how to color grade using the touching academy click on this video showing right here i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative